hi developers so this is the second part for anglo e-commerce project and here we will learn that how we can set up that project so first of all we have to download and install node.js then we will check that uh, npm and node are properly installed or not in first point you may have a question that why we need node.js for angular angular is a part of front-end technology and node.js is completely different from it we use it in the uh, back end and this is used for api see we don't need node.js for angular we need actually npm and npm will automatically install when we are uh, installing node.js that's why we are just downloading and installing node.js all right so in a second question like uh, why we need npm then so npm will help us to create project run our project or create build or even uh, if you want to install some external package or external uh, modules that time also npm help us not even uh, only with the angular uh, npm is also used with the react and vue.js also right so this is really common for front-end development after that we will install angular cli we will create project and i'll show you that how we can run our project and uh, that's all for this part that part right so now let's uh, just open another tab in chrome and just simply put here node.js you can just directly put here node.js.org or you can just google it and open the first link and you can just uh, download that stable version which is a 16.17.0 there is a current version also but uh, that that is the recommended here you can see that this is recommended by the uh, node.js website only so we can just download it and uh, after that we can double click on it and we can install it and you need to just uh, follow some steps like uh, uh, i already installed that uh, uh, node.js that's why it, it will asking for me to change repair or remove so i will just simply click on the change and just follow this that instruction we don't need these extra tools uh, for basic level so you can just skip them and just click on the install and it will take a moment to install after that you can finish it and open a fresh terminal don't try to just uh, check it out with the uh, already open terminal maybe you will find uh, that uh, node is not a external and internal command i'll recommend you to use to open the fresh command command line and just simply put here node minus v and here you can see that the latest version is installed and you can also check the npm minus v for npm is installed or not and you will find that this is also installed is it it's taking time yeah here you can see that so don't be confused uh, like uh, they both have the different version so that's okay node and npm always have the different version that's there is a no big deal right so you can just uh, uh, close this turn, uh, command line and next step is uh, to install the angular cli so why we need to install the angular cli the question is that so uh, it will help us to create our project and uh, to create uh, some uh, internal features of angular like create component create module routing and uh, services and all right so that's why we need angular cli uh, we can call it angular command line interface so just simply put here angular cli you can directly put that like this angular cli you can directly search for it or you can di directly go to the angulars dot uh, io dot cli and here you will find the all commands related to the CLI basically uh, recommended and overviews you will definitely find and you can just uh, uh, go down more go down for find the more commands like there right so first of all we need to just run this npm install minus g at the rate angular CLI so let's open another command line so you may ask that uh, so where we have to run this command to on project location or anywhere you can run this command anywhere you can see that we are using here minus g command so i'll tell you what is the meaning of uh, minus g and all so first of all let me just uh, install it minus g at the rate angular and cli right all right so now what is the meaning of uh, minus g that means we are installing angular cli globally in our operating system you can install it in the c drive or d drive anywhere you want and you can use it in any folder any directory of your computer because minus g means global and as as i already told you this will install our uh, that package globally all right 
So after that, uh, we will check that this is installed or not properly. And uh, there is some command, or, or there is some more commands like uh, how we can create the project ng new and your project name. And then you can just uh, after creating your project, you can just go to that project and run the ng serve command to just run your project, right? So, yeah, this is installing. All right, Angular CLI is installed, and you can simply check with the ng help command. ng help, and it will show you the list of command which uh, you can use. Like, uh, let's say you want to check the version of ng. Uh, uh, that means Angular CLI. Then you can just simply run here ng version you want to create a new project ng new and your project name you want to run it all commands are given here all you can say that not all all important commands are given there so now i am just again closing this command and uh, i am going on my dashboard so that uh, i can create a new project and i want to create it only inside the angular tube and let me open again open here command line and here I can put here ng new ecom project and just click and just hit enter and uh, initially it will ask that you want to uh, use angular routing or not so I just want to use angular writing on a project that's why I'm just saying that yes I will ask that you want to use SAS, SAS or less. So we will use only CSS because we are focusing on the uh, logical part, not the designing part. And again, it will take a moment. And within that time, you can see that this uh, folder is created. And uh, I am just opening up one more command line and putting here code dot. This command will open our project inside the VS code if vs code, code is installed in your system if vs code is not installed that time this command will not gonna work all right so we can close this command line after just opening our project in vs code and here you can see that we have lots of files and you will find more files inside the src folder so if you want to just know about all these files so i already told you uh, the architecture and folder structure in uh, angular tutorial series a link is given in the description box for that series that is a complete angular uh, tutorial series so i am not going to explain it again because this is the uh, part of angular project not for the tutorial right so we'll directly jump on the angular uh, project even i'll just uh, tell you the other uh, basic and recap other things so that you can just uh, uh, you can say that uh, remind or you can brush up uh, the old thing but i'm not going uh, in the detail of the things right in the upcoming part so our project is created now so now let's uh, uh, go to our uh, inside project so let me put here cd uh, e-commerce project and now you can run here ng serve command so here you can see that our project is compi compiled successfully now we can open the local host 4200 and our project will be open in the browser also so let's simply put here local host 4200 and here you can see that our project is running there right so that's all for this part if you like this video please uh, you can just like this video and uh, subscribe my channel and uh, you can provide some valuable feedback in comment box Thank you guys, thank you for watching this video and please keep supporting me.